Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 25. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. Alright, so we're here for uh, some Chevy thing. Chevrolet track days. Let's go. Maple Valley, Sebring, Iberian International Circuit and then New York. Let's go. Right, the Camaro is making its return. So this thing has 556 horsepower now, uh, which is pretty typical of probably the more souped up version of this one that they did. I'm sure what it was called. It was like the ZL1, but like... Ages ago. They did a souped up version of this. That had about 500, 600 horsepower in it. So. We've made that car. But in Forza Motorsport 3. When that car did not exist. It's a lovely sounding engine, I'll be honest. Press back to rewind the race. No. <laughs> the funny thing is, I don't have to use that button because I'm using a PS5 controller um, plugged into a 360. The big fat touchpad button is actually bound to the back button as well because typically when, when you look at a game that's built for PlayStation and Xbox, the touchpad is basically what the back button would do because the actual share button would then be assigned to the operating system. But when you're using an external controller like this, the back button just is like a normal input. So basically what they did is they set the big button, the big touchpad as a back button and the share button as a back button as well. I know it's the dumbest thing ever, but it means it's very easy for me to accidentally just rewind. I've done it so many times during this playthrough already. Oh yeah, what episode number are we on now? Episode 25. This is episode 25 that we're recording, by the way. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so... I've got a batch of about eight videos, I believe. Either four or eight. I'm not sure how many. But um, I have a batch of videos that have to go up. Uh, a couple have to be re-uploaded because they got copyright strikes and shit. But, um... Yeah, my Monster Cat license has expired. Which, again, I can't pay for until my bank card turns up. So, at the moment, I have no licenses for the music that I put on my content. However, because of the fact that Monster Cat's license still applies for any stuff in the past that I've done... All the videos that have gone up now, hopefully, are going to stay untouched. It's any time in the future, their bot is probably going to flag some of my content, and I'm going to have to manually remove it. Uh, as well as the fact that until I get that back, I can't upload any videos. Because all of my videos have Monster Cat music at the end of it. Because newsflash, if you don't have an outro, typically, people don't click back on your videos. So, you need an outro. And you need some music to go with that outro. So, make me losing money. Yep, yeah, pretty much. I mean, mathematically speaking, I'm spending more money than I'm getting back from Twitch and YouTube. So, you know. Me doing content creation is a loss at the moment. It's going to be for a while until uh, 
YouTube starts sharing out my content more. And people also help share out the content and we start growing the numbers. Until then, it's all coming out of my pocket. Um, obviously, the revenue that we get pretty much just lessens the dent in my pocket. Pretty much. So, <laughs> uh, 6,100. Not bad. Not bad. That's one thing that I always say to um, content creators that are like, Oh, I'm looking for a good webcam. Like, what kind of content are you doing? Oh, I'm just doing gaming stuff, so I want a little face cam. Cool, get the cheapest webcam you can find. As long as it works and it doesn't crash every five minutes, then that's good. This webcam cost me 15 quid. It doesn't crash with OBS, but it likes to crash with Discord. So I think that's a problem on Discord's part more than anything. But uh, it works, does the job, it's fine. Bye. Also, Kodo, go fuck yourself. <laughs> not a chance in hell am I going bald. I'm not getting rid of the face hair. Uh, I've got rid of the face hair. I hate it. You really think I'm going to get rid of my head hair as well? Next is going to be... Oh, yeah, get rid of your leg hair, your arm hair, and your pubes next. Jesus. Where's the green screen? Uh, I got rid of the green screen because uh, it turns out... Um... Based off of my setup, even though on Task Manager, it said that NVIDIA Broadcast was only using 3% of, um, what's it called? It was only using 3% of my GPU. It was actually using 25%, um, which was causing a huge impact in performance when I was playing PC games. Um, my... PC, whenever I loaded up OBS, was using 45% GPU while I was using the green screen. Now it's 20%. So, somewhere along the line, NVIDIA Broadcast is actually lying about how much it's using. Um, how it does it, I don't know, but it uses a lot more than it says it does. Um, so, more, more than likely, I recommend get, not using it as a green screen thing. By all means, use it for microphones because it's bloody brilliant at noise cancellation. But uh, for actual, like, uh, what's it called? Webcam. Nah. Can't be bothered. I would like my PC to not kill itself. Bum, 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 bum. Get a Manscaped set. I am not. With a new Manscaped 4.0. Yo, Manscaped, do you want to sponsor me? I wouldn't mind. I need the sponsorship money. <laughs> and the free razors. Dan, 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 Dick, Dick, Dan. in the Stone Age. Okay, yeah. Clearly, I don't like this track that much. You've gone wide, you pleb. Get back.
Oing. I'm gonna send him to outer space to find another race. I'm gonna send him to outer space to find another race. Watch you. I love that song. Not bad, saving ghosts. Please do not turn off your console. I will not turn it off. You now have 10% discount on valves and displacement upgrades by GM Performance Chevrolet. Woohoo! Do you know how I was saying, Cotto, that where you went to Greece was definitely a tourist destination because they were overpriced like crazy to try and squeeze money out of tourists? London is the same. The whole purpose of London um, is to squeeze money out of tourists. So people who can earn enough money to live in London, they're sort of seen as quite posh, quite rich. Um, and obviously those touristy areas are more desired to live in anyways. So when it comes to you going on holiday to somewhere in Greece that's more expensive, typically they are tourist holidays. They're desired to be lived in by people. But they're also fucking expensive. So that's why London is expensive. It's there to rip off tourists. And even people from our own country as well. It's there to rip off the Brits. Um, it's, 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 it's the whole reason why, because when you think about it, you're going on holiday to enjoy yourself. If you have to start thinking about money at all while you're on holiday because of the fact that, oh, some things are more expensive than you expected or cheaper or whatever. If, well, cheap is never really an issue. It's when it's more expensive... If you ever have to worry about that, it, it stops becoming a holiday for me. So, you know, I fucking love a cheap holiday where I can relax and not have to worry. I can spend my money on what I want. And I don't feel like I'm being ripped off and I feel like I'm enjoying my time, you know. Yeah, so... London is a good looking shithole, to be honest. I would never want to live in uh, London, to be honest. Even if I got really rich, I wouldn't want to live in London. It's just too noisy, too polluted, too there. I go on trips because I'd be able to afford it because London is a good day out. But I would not want to live anywhere near London. Darkness surrounds me. But I ain't scared because you're, you're with me. I'm not gonna lie, this car is not enjoyable to drive. It's a classic case of adding more power does not make a car faster. <laughs> That's crazy. I would love to go back to Greece for a holiday. Um, but again, if I was going on a holiday, I wouldn't be going where you went, Cotto. That's for sure, because it's too expensive. Some of the things that you bought there, like a meal for like 50 quid, 60 quid. Yeah, I would not be going where you went. Not a chance in fucking hell. I'd be going to Crete where you can buy yourself a full meal yeah, exactly. For, the, for a £200 holiday, you'd be sorted. The place we're going in Turkey is fairly cheap. It's, um... The flights cost me the most. The flights were the most expensive part. They cost me £275 for a flight there and back two weeks apart. Um, but that was because I didn't give it much time. I gave it six months. So, could probably find cheaper flights. 
but yeah, £275 for the flight. The hotel was £210, so in total that is... Two hundred and two four four eighty five. So you think for five hundred pounds I'm now able to go on holiday for under five hundred. Obviously you still need about five hundred spending money for food and stuff, drinks, whatever. So for about a grand you can have a nice two week holiday, but you don't have to worry too much about cost of stuff. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> Make retard confirm. <laughs> well, it's true. I'm not even going to deny it. Like, a lot of people get like, Oh, why have you called me a retard? Oh, that's so not nice. It's like, well... I, the only reason I have a problem with the word retard, right? And a lot of people are... When I explain this, it's going to realize, Ah... Maybe I should have the same problem with it. So a lot of... The people that have zero problem with it... I don't think they have no problem with the word. I think they have a slight problem with it, but I think they have the same problem that I have with it. Which is that they have no problem with it. Um... And the people that do genuinely have a problem with it... Have the wrong association of the word. Which makes them worse than the people that use the word. So, the term retard has always been used to describe someone slow. Someone who's retarded, mentally slow. Mentally handicapped, whatever. It's been used for many, many years, and the context for it still means someone who is mentally slow. Now, for some reason, in modern day society... Everyone seems to associate the term retard now and that action of being retarded, being mentally slow, as someone who's incapable. Someone who's like, uh, uh, and whatnot. Which is not the case. The, there are different terms for that. And like, um, obviously when people get upset, like, but why are you calling me a retard? I'm not a retard. Well, you were, because the definition of it is the fact that you are mentally slow. Now, if you're sat there associating it with something else, that's your fault, not mine. So if... You know, when, whenever anyone gets offended by me using the word retard, I'm always like... Well, cheers for telling me that you're uneducated and that you're actually a lot more offensive than you realise. Because it is. Like, to me, if someone gets offended by me calling them a retard and, like, being defined... Because, like, I've called so many people it. I am retarded myself, so uh, the, they added a chicane to uh, mix it up a bit. They were going to add it to Motorsport 2, because uh, if you notice, the map layout on Motorsport 2 has the chicane on it um, when you're in the loading screen, but it doesn't actually have it in the actual race. I kind of prefer this version of the uh, New York circuit, though, so... Ah. It's generally on the person who gets offended if they're just not taking the word in the correct definition. It's not even that. Oh, shit. Get back, you pleb. Um, it's, it's the fact that people will get offended on behalf of other people, which already is wrong. But it's the fact that people will twist it and, like, think... Because the term retard is someone that's mentally slow. Anyone can be mentally slow, whether it's... Oh, I, I've had a bit of a retarded moment. I had a mind fart, I had whatever, but everyone always assumes that it means a certain group of people, and that it means 
those people who like you, you get the picture of the people i don't want to do an impression of it because it's a little insensitive but you know the people that everyone assumes are oh that's a retard that's who and that's why i find it more problematic that people get offended by that because they're assuming that you're talking about them that's not what it means so these people are making quite an offensive assumption on the word retard because they're uneducated a lot of people are in modern day society yeah well actually no you're wrong you're just fucking wrong. It's, it's, it's the same talk. Like I'm not going to get into the racism discussion, but when people discuss anything that has a negative implication towards people of colour, it's like, oh, that's racist. No, I just said to this person of colour that he's being a dick because he's, you know, being a dick. That's not racist. How come if I call... A white person a dick that's not it's the same thing like you know it's just people just assume the racism card nowadays and it is so fucked up but uh you know it's the world we live in it's a shit world fuck you karen all right so we are here for the speeds to shoot out we are taking the 370z for this one starting off with silverstone Amalfi Coast, Road Atlanta, and then Sakuba Circuit. Let's get going. Kodo, just uh, have a look on the Twitch page and see if it still says you're subscribed. If you're on um, PC, if you look below the video player, it should say, like, subscribe, continue sub, and then give you a time. If it doesn't give you a time, that normally means the sub's already expired. And that might be why you're seeing adverts. Oh my god. God, this thing's nippy round corners. Two days left on the 31st of August. Strange. It should not be showing you ads. Try refreshing the page. Because it shouldn't be showing you ads at all. If you're subscribed, I don't want... I don't want people that are subscribed seeing adverts because... Um, they've obviously already paid to support the channel. So they shouldn't have to see it. Who would have thought light car equals nippy corners? It's really nippy though. Like I didn't expect it to be this nippy. Granted we've today driven a RX-7 that's severely underpowered. And really rubbish with its handling. So you know that wasn't great. You had the BMW which was like a fucking tank. And then that Camaro that had zero handling ability. So this is actually quite a, you know, quite a nippy, nippy whip. Jerry, thank you so much for the follow, my dude. Legend. <laughs> <laughs> nipples be nippy. Nippy nipples. I need you, the, I need you, I need you, 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 you. Heard you got on fire. Cheers for that. <laughs> Lovely. You mean the key when the darling is open. Jerry fix everything. Lovely. Actually, I've lost quite a lot past few months, so. Where are you now that I need you? Where are you now? Couldn't find you anywhere. Too many pork pies. <laughs> Funny story, I don't like pork pies. So. <laughs> I don't like them. So that that insult doesn't land, unfortunately. New 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 
Now, ciders, on the other hand, I really do fucking love. But, uh, they don't... They don't make you fat. So... Well, they do. But they don't... Not to the level that pork pies do. But again, I don't like pork pies. Not a fan of pastry. It's all dry and... Well, cider drinkers are only fat fuckers if they don't, you know, moderate. I mean, under that assumption, you just assume that anyone who drinks cider is fat, which means either everyone that you know that drinks cider is fat, uh, or you yourself, as a cider drinker, is fat. So... <laughs> Mm. I'm back, what you saying? Yo, Steph, what's up? I don't have a drink, unfortunately. How you doing, though? Hopefully you're having a good day. That's for sure. That, that is kind of surprising, though, Cotto. I'll be honest. <laughs> mm. new, new, new. Now that I need you. Where are you now that I need ya? Okay, so we finally got our first uh, actual racing car by the looks of it. I actually know, was that other one racing car as well? Uh, 2007 Chevrolet racing, so uh, I'm not a fan of it, I'll be honest. We used it a lot in uh, Motorsport. I think we used it once in Motorsport 2, a couple of times in Motorsport 1. It's okay. There are better. I love this car. That that livery is fucking amazing. I take it all back. I take it all back. All right, here we go. Amalfi Coast. Love this track. Lovely. Yo, no, good for me. I don't need nobody. Don't need no one. That's no good for me. Whoa! Do <laughs> do I do love this track. It's it, it's a nice flowing track. Granted it's it's not good for faster cars. But for like these slower sporty cars, it is perfect. Oh yeah, 24 hours in to the actual event, which is uh, not bad at all. That's no good for me. Oh, 
spot. I've hit the wall. It's not ideal. Good for me. I don't need nobody. Nobody, don't need no one, that's no good for me. Don't need nobody, don't need no one, that's no good for me. Into pieces. This is my relaxed resort. Suffocation. <laughs> it's honestly such a tune. Oh, we got 30% discount on fuel system upgrades by Blitz. Not bad. <laughs> GTT. Grand Theft Turismo. Sounds like a brilliant brilliant video game. Reconciliation though put me in my place and there is no time like a present. Uh, racing national races in stolen cars. <laughs> That's brilliant. Wow. And here we have the starting grid. Starting first, we have Mechanic CG in a Nissan 370Z. Stolen from the side of a highway in USA. <laughs> Second on the grid, we have Hans in a Nissan 240. Stolen straight from the Nissan Museum in Japan. <laughs> it's fucking brilliant. Oh, that's brilliant. Down goes the 1 million credit McLaren F1 because we just fucking steal it. <laughs> I'm not even joking. That, that McLaren F1, it costs you a million pounds in real life to buy it. And it costs you nearly a million to buy it in Gran Turismo. It's ridiculous. Still like you'd have to take out a mortgage on your house maybe a bank loan just to be able to buy it in the video game but you still have whoa 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 Selling both kidneys in a house to afford a pile of pixels and polygons. <laughs> That's not even wrong. That's a funny thing. Left. 
to save. Metaverse be like, exactly. NFTs as well confuse me. I understand the concept of NFTs. The fact that you can purchase a product, like you can buy something the way that it's stored. I understand that. The fact that you can resell that product and give ownership to someone else. That's a brilliant idea. But the fact that NFTs is basically just trading, like cryptocurrency at this point, like there is genuinely a good way that NFTs can be used for good. You know how the Steam store has stuff? Like, you know, those cards that you get on Steam, those are technically NFTs. You then have uh, skins in CSGOs. Technically speaking, those can be classed as NFTs. Those aren't bad the way that they're done. But for some reason, someone just went, yeah, let's make stuff that we can sell and we'll make it like as unpredictable as cryptocurrency. That, that's what I don't get about NFTs. The rest of it I understand and it makes sense. The fact that you can purchase a product that you can say, oh yes, I own this. This is mine. Yeah, that's good. It's a good way of certifying digital ownership. Well, no, not everything is a digital JPEG for NFTs. A majority of them are, though. Not bad. 30% discount on flywheel upgrades by Toda. Nice. I forgot to press record. The night, my friend. Mm -hmm. Oh no, Short Circuit has put out a video titled I Expected Better. This means that someone is very disappointed with the new iPhone. <laughs> Guaranteed. Let's be honest, what else was that supposed to mean? NFT equals paying for a screenshot. Yeah, I mean, not everything. I mean, you look at Ubisoft's NFT project that they did where you could buy, like, actual skins as NFTs. So not not everything has to be just a picture. Like, by, by all means, when you look at, like, Logan Paul's image project that he's done, his originals, that's a bloody good way of doing like NFTs, selling photographs so that you own the rights to that photograph. By all means, people will screenshot whatever on the internet, but to be able to own the rights to use that photograph? Yeah. Like, I understand NFTs for certain things, but the way that it's done, it's all about, like, cryptocurrency and stuff. It's odd. YouTube Phone Pro Max. Relax. Take your time. Trust in me. Not bad. Flowing through the corners. I love this car. It's amazing. I think this is the last race as well for this one.
Infinity. Oh no, I've lost it nearly. I got it back. I think this is the last race, so. Your time to trust in me. Hey! We got 11 grand. Not bad. We're still losing money, though. I need a mill. I need a mill. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.